We finally hit my favorite time of year, Halloween! I'm going to be showing you guys a behind the scenes of how I get ready for my annual Halloween photo shoot. And for those who have been paying attention to my Instagram stories and the little hints I've kind of been dropping along the way, I'm going to be dressing up as Morticia Adams and my boyfriend, who you guys are all going to meet in this video, will be dressing up as Gomez. First things first, we need to go to Ulta and Sephora. This is my bag that I got from Ulta. First, I got a curling iron because for some reason I don't have a curling iron. I just have a curling wand and a curling wand is not gonna give me the look that I want, I don't think. Anyways, I don't really know hair tools. So I'm gonna be using this. I also got this color depositing conditioner because as you guys can see, I've got some highlights which I really like and I kind of don't wanna get rid of them. But for the sake of being Morticia, we must. I was out of my setting spray so I got some more setting spray. I also got some light jeans. I'm really bad at applying these, but I try anyways. And then to go with my lashes, I got some lash glue. I think I already have some, but I don't know if it's expired, so I got some more. The biggest thing I needed, which I thought was going to be the only thing that I needed, and then I was walking around and I was like, wait a minute, I need a lot more stuff, was a lip color. And surprisingly, it was a lot harder to find. I wanted like, not like a bright, bright red, but more like a dark kind of sultry red, but that still had that orange in it. It was very hard to find because a lot of the reds had a purple hue and that's not really what I wanted. I ended up getting this liner and lipstick and I think it'll be kind of the color that I want. I don't think it's gonna be perfect, but I did try. I also got this lip oil to go over. So my lips look nice and latches and plump. Then I had to get some concealer and some foundation. I'm going for like a old Hollywood kind of Morticia. So I want like these kind of like pin up curls that are just, you know, really pretty. I wanted to try out this finishing spray and see if it can make it nice and glossy. But that is everything that I got. I also have some stuff that's coming in through Amazon, like some little clips and things. In the meantime, I am going to go put this in my hair and hope that I don't severely regret the decision because last time I tried to do something when I had like hints of blonde in my hair, my hair turned green. I hope that that does not happen this time. Obviously, Morticia doesn't have these blonde stripes in her hair and I'm torn because it's like I could always just edit the photo. I mean, it's just a color depositing conditioner and I can always take it out. We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it because I have already spent way too much money on this whole photo shoot to not go all out. The more I brush out my hair, the more I do not want to die. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it. First, we are moving these white towels out of this room because I just know I will get all over them if they stay. I'm just pinning up some of my hair. At one point I had gloves. I do not think I have them anymore. I think I'm just gonna use my bare hands and hope that they don't stain that bad. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, there's no going back now. I think the worst part about doing this is like, I know how much money I spent to get these highlights in and it's just down the drain. As long as they don't turn out green, I'll be happy. While I'm waiting for this to do its thing, I have my dress come in. The thing is is, is I ordered a very cheap dress from Fashion Nova. So it's not giving old Hollywood Morticia. I mean, it still looks really good, but I definitely want to add my own touch to it. So I think I'm going to add like some beads and some different fabric and stuff. Maybe look like I spent more than $30 on it. This is what we're working with. It doesn't look that great, but I promise you once it's on, it looks much better. But my plan is to go and add some beading to like here, add some fabric so the sleeves are a little bit more flared and maybe do some stuff with the skirt. I'm not really sure. I'll kind of figure it out as I go. Thankfully, I already have a bunch of black beads that I think would work. Here's another one of my many projects I haven't finished. I've got these. I've got these. Um, I think I also have some sequins somewhere too, so that might be cool. I also only have a week to do this, so I'm really hoping the beading goes fast because I've done beading projects before and they take a really long time. Hopefully, this is not one of them. I just beaded one row, if you can see, and that took so long. I just don't think there's any way I'm gonna be able to fill up this whole corset. That being said, I'm just gonna try my best to go in and add some really cool details with the beads, but I'm not gonna be able to do a lot with them because it's just gonna take way
way too long. I washed my hair and gave it a little trim. I was a little worried in the shower because some parts were looking green and it hasn't obviously fully dried yet, but it is definitely darker and I definitely feel much paler, which I guess is fitting for Morticia, but um, definitely gonna take some getting used to for sure. It is Wednesday and my Gomez costume has not come in. The photo shoot is Saturday morning and I'm getting a little worried. I also have not even finished my costume, so we're really pushing this time limit here. And that being said, I'm really gonna try and at least get the beading done for my costume today. Also getting the sleeves done today. We'll see how far we get. I did manage to get one line of beads done, but I still have this one I need to get done. I still need to go all the way around this edge here. And then of course these other two I need to go over. There is still a a lot of work that needs to be done. I got my package, I got my package. I actually ordered two Gobez costumes. The one that I ordered said that it wasn't going to deliver until literally the day of our shoot, which obviously wasn't gonna work. So I ordered another one on Amazon earlier this week, thinking that this one was not gonna get here in enough time, but thankfully it did. But now I also have one from Amazon coming, so I'll just have to pick out which one's the best. Okay, okay, Gomez costume. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <gasps> I can't wait to see what this looks like on. I love Halloween so much. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that that came in time. It is Thursday, and that means that the photo shoot is in two days, which is coming up very, very quickly, but I thankfully just finished the beading on the dress. It's not a lot, but I definitely think it adds a little bit more than what I had going before. Now, I also have this kind of Halloween mesh fabric, and I wanna figure out a way to add it because I think it would make the dress a lot more elevated. I'm just kind of laying out the fabric and trying to see where it would look good. I think it could look really cool if it was all down the skirt, but I don't know if I would need to add some up here too then, so that way it doesn't look too uneven. So I'm just kind of messing around with this and seeing what looks best. I kind of like the placement on the sleeves, so I'm gonna start by adding it to the sleeves. I'm starting by just cutting a rectangle of this, and I would be using my fabric scissors, but I have no idea where they are because we just moved and I don't know where anything is. I just got a brand new sewing machine because my other sewing machine did not fare very well in the move. So we got this bad boy. I'm about to start sewing the sleeve and I really hope I don't mess this up because at this point I can't just go get another dress. It is way too late in the game. So fingers crossed that this goes well. <laughs> I've been sewing for like two seconds and I've already come across this issue. My stuff got caught in the bobbin, which has happened to me so many times, but every single time it happens, I'm just like, what? I think I got it. I just need to be really careful to not cut the fabric. I don't really know what happened there because I am in no way, shape, or form a seamstress, but I am looking at the result of my sewing and it looks fine to me, so we're just gonna keep going. I just fixed the last problem, but when I went back to go sewing, I forgot to put the presser foot down, and now all of my fabric is stuck underneath in the bobbin. This is what I mean when I say that I am not a seamstress. This is the sleeve so far, and honestly, we're only taking about five minutes to do that. It's not bad. I definitely think it adds what I wanted it to add. Now I just need to do the other sleeve. I went ahead and cut a hole for the middle finger. As you can see, See, it obviously looks really weird, so I am just turning it into a thumb hole because that looks much better. It is five o'clock in the morning, the day of the shoot, and I have so much to do and three hours to do it in. So we're gonna start by doing my hair. So for the overall feel of the hair, I'm trying to go for like this old Hollywood kind of vibe and for the makeup too. I'm going to attempt to curl my hair with a legitimate curling iron, which I have tried to do in the past and it has never worked out. Also, I know I dyed my hair darker, but I hated it because it turned green. So <laughs> I went and got all the color removed in hopes that I can just edit the photos to make my hair look darker. I'm just going in and putting some heat protectant because I'm not about to further destroy my hair. For this, I definitely want to take it back all the way to middle school and 
do a side part. Wow, I have not done this in so long. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to use a curling iron. Definitely don't think this is how it's normally used. I have never seen a salon use it like this, but I don't know how they do it. I don't think that's what I want. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not very good. We're using the curling wand. I ended up not pinning down all of the hair because first of all, I definitely don't think the pins that I did are done right and second of all, it was taking way too long and already 6 o'clock so I wanted to make sure I had enough time to do my makeup and get everything else all situated. I just put on press-ons last night and I've already had a nail fall off. I'm taping off my eyeballs and I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first because I tend to get very messy with that and I don't want it to mess up the rest of my face. I started by putting down a very neutral shade just to get like the base of my eye and now I'm gonna slowly go in and build up that contrast. I unfortunately got rid of all of my little eyeshadow brushes and I only have this one. I pretty much finished up the eyeshadow and the eyeliner and everything and I've got my mascara on. Now I am attempting to put on fake lashes, which is one of the things that I am terrible at. Honestly, that was probably the best I've ever done. I'm going in and doing the base of my makeup and obviously I've got quite a few little breakouts going on. So I'm just trying to cover those up as best as I can. Thankfully, it's only 7 o'clock and I don't have to leave until 8.30. So I'm making pretty good time. The last thing that I'm going to do is go in with her iconic red lip. And I'm just outlining in a really dark shade and then I'm going to fill in with a slightly lighter shade. Okay, the hair and makeup is all done and I think it looks pretty good. Now I just need to go wake my Gomez up. It's time to get up, city. I have coffee. Okay, come on then. Come on, you have to get up. Alright, 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 I'm up, I'm up. Vinny is finally up, so now we are going to work on getting his hair done. I gave him some spinach so he can depuff his eyes and in the meantime, I'm going to comb his hair. Not that part. Puffy. They're not that puffy. <laughs> They're pretty puffy. Okay, we are all dressed up in our costumes and we are about to start filming for our photo shoot. On a cold night. On a cold night. and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. This will go down as the hardest hard launch in history.